All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. We are continuing our weed sector review. We're gonna do three on this one. We're gonna do OGI, Hexo, and MSOS, okay? Look, I'll obviously get into the details shortly, but I say it often, when you're under all five moving averages, horrible things can happen and a drop from 90 to 80 doesn't seem like a lot but yeah that's a that's a quick 10 percent. you know what i mean so um again we'll get into the details shortly real quick what are we going to do today same thing we do every day right we'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how things are setting up short term we have our five moving averages the horizontal support and resistance lines that i do draw manually myself and then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Um, if you can please like and subscribe, it does really, really well with the YouTube algorithms. But even if you don't, I swear, I'm so glad that you're here and I very much appreciate your time, okay? And then, hey, if you disagree with anything, please let me know in the comments, all right? I am not some all-knowing guru, wizard kind of guy, right? I'm a regular person like you and I'd much rather you tell me I'm wrong than have my money go down the toilet in the market, all right? So real quick, let's get into the details, all right? There, there are a couple things I, I often say, right? And when you have all, and I mean, this is not all, but it's four out of the five, right? Well, more than half. When you have all the moving averages so, so tight, you're either going to violently go up or down. And I mean, look, I know it's not screaming a lot of money, but yeah, that, that's a 10% drop in, in less than a month, right? I mean, it's, 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 it's bad, especially when it looks like it's not done yet, right? Because we just lost the support. The support gave us a good four days right here of, of trying to hold it, right? And I'm seeing what looks like the 20 wanna keep going down. I'm seeing the eight ready to just kind of keep going down. This 50 is ready to chill. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's no sign of recovery just yet in OGI. And now that we've lost this, all right, because look, this right here looks like it closes under it, right? Or it at least closes on it. That for me, I always say it on it is not breaking, right? If you're on it or under it, you haven't broken it. It's the same thing. So for me, this is a no. And then that's a good confirmation. So there is decent read because look, green, 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 all the way to here, literally can very quickly turn to red, 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 red. You know what I mean? So maybe this 74 cents can hold it. Um, maybe it's worth drawing a line here. Let's at least put a line. Let's put a Let's put a please don't lose this. You know what I mean? It's basically the bottom of that and the top of that. So 74 might. Do not want to go any lower than 70. Real quick, is that going to take us to all-time lows? It's not, but I mean, there there is some definite danger after, because like, look, green, 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 and then a little bit more green, green, like that maybe will save it. Maybe there's something at 57 cents if we zoom in right there, but I mean, we're talking about going from 80 to 70 to, to basically 60, right? And and with that, you're you're moving a lot of percentages down really quickly, right? So, and then look, I mean, I didn't mean to zoom out this much, right? But just look at this thing, right? It's been forever and a half since we've been over or near the 200. It's definitely been a good while of just kind of testing this hundred and never really doing anything. And yeah, all, all we end up doing is getting close and dropping here, right? So just be careful because again, the last place you want your money is under all the moving averages, okay? You know, this isn't, it's sad because, you know, I, I often talk about down, horizontal, hopefully up, but very often you can go down, horizontal, and way back down. You know what I mean? And yeah, it just, this continues to fail the eight and the 20, right? Obviously a couple moments, but in these moments, you can clearly see no good confirmation. And yeah, we're now on our way down on the weekly. And that's, that's just like I said, look, this is little, there's nothing more than green, green, green here. And then one fat red, right? So um, that would for sure, 80 cents is going to be a bad one to lose. That'll definitely take us to that 74, you know, oh man, I like just be careful here. There's, there's, there's not too much more I can say on, <clears throat> excuse me, on OGI. Hexy, not Hexy, no, Hexo, there we go. All right. Ooh, interesting here. Okay. So, sorry. Okay. I have not been looking here. You can clearly tell, right? 
obviously this this was the story of why Hexo was just able to kill it, right? This red, 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 red actually very quickly turned into, and you know, it's funny because now that, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I remember seeing that Hexo really was the best one had, that had the best movement on that couple days when, um, when it, um, when it being the sector ran. So, um, nice. That's interesting that this is what it looked like. I, I did not make a move on this. I, you can, you can tell by just again, how surprised I am here. So look, if you're going to break all the moving averages, I want good confirmation. And it's funny. This is relatively, this is probably the best red candle you can get, but obviously it's not fantastic, right? Like I love that we gapped up here. We literally gapped up over that, right? Which is obviously going to be the next candle I'm looking at. Okay. Then unfortunately, Unfortunately, we come down, we wick real low, but even the wick stays above this. And then obviously it comes back up to here, right? Taking a little bit more than 50% of this guy and, and clearly doing way better than the day before. So this is probably the best red candle confirmation you'll see. But again, that's not if this candle was right here. Hexo would have been a completely different game for sure. Because if this candle was here, I would have probably expected another one right there and literally just like destroyed it and, and took it all the way to here even. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, hopefully that's just a little more basic um, theory right there than Hexo specific, but not really actually because it is Hexo specific. What I don't like about this and what I like about it, okay, because there's, there's a little bit of both here. This is a doji, okay? Now it's not as textbook as that, right? Obviously super, super thin versus a little gap, but look, decent wick up, almost equal wick down, fairly in the middle finish, right? For me, this is enough to say this is a doji and I don't think this counts. However, I hate the fact that we clearly close a lot lower, right? We've now given up that 50% from that one, right? We are still technically over this one, right? This is the one that's broken and this is the one that we're still trying to confirm, right? This one wasn't good enough. This one didn't count. Hey, maybe the next one is a good real one. Maybe it's one of these that brings us here, right? We're still over this line. We're still over this line. And look, <clears throat> excuse me, they are actually both going up. So with all that, I'll be real honest. I want to see what this does on Tuesday. Let me know if Hexo goes a penny higher. Let me know. And, and again, an alert is not an immediate buy, but it's definitely a come check it out, right? And really, I probably wanted to actually set the alert. I'll set another alert right here. We'll do the top of the wick, so a little higher than that wick, and then pretty much 50% candle. We'll do the next one at, at 170. I like that. That's a good one too. Um, interesting here though. Look, I'll be honest, we're, we're at least in the positive here. It's not beautiful. It kind of looks like it's curving, but that is still green over red. It's still green over red. Um, yeah, heck so. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm real interested to see how this starts. And hey, look, this ain't a bad weekly at all, right? Did we go above that? We did. Nice, right? I love it. This, I mean, there's real reason to believe that we're coming to one, one night, almost $2 tomorrow. And that's almost a 20% move right there, right? Because just rough math, 15 cents is 10%, obviously 16, right? But 15 and 15 is 30. We're under 170. Like, yeah, take me to two and that's a 20% beautiful right there and then obviously we already know beautiful right there right so this almost even says hey you might even go higher and just wick it at 222 right because yeah if you hit right here all that's stopping you is really that to 215 just wick it right so hexo surprisingly bullish for sure for sure actually it's definitely a, a prove me bullishness right i, I i'm st i still need a little bit more right but yeah we haven't unconfirmed this one for, I think that's a good word, um, but we still haven't really confirmed it yet, right? So, um, and then I also, I did wanna throw in MSOS in here real quick, the ETF. Oh, look at this bad boy. I have not looked here in a good while. I definitely remember this struggle with the eight and the 20 and look, down horizontal, hey, it kind of look, and look, everything is on this this 726 right that's pretty much where the 50 is living at that's definitely where that line is i'll be honest i would love to know if we're a penny higher not 34 is way too much let me know if we're at 
Let me know if we're at um, 7.28. Give me two cents higher. Again, an alert is not an immediate buy. However, yeah, you break this, there's a lot of reason to believe you're coming here. And obviously, look how much pain there's been here with only a couple candles and, and some real nice spacing in between these. So um, definitely, definitely, again, this is, this is still a pretty bullish chart right here, actually, right? So a lot, I'd be way more comfortable over this so to like if, if we come here obviously it's still technically bullish even if we like at this point if you break that candle you're gonna break that one too right so um yeah there's there's a, let's just get over that line that's 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 the money line there's really not much more i need to say on msos if you've been watching my videos enough right we're staring at a beautiful red 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 to hopefully fill and literally that's that's the you know please enter your, to must be this tall to ride before you can go up that thing, you know what I mean? So, um, <clears throat> okay, again, look, this is the first week over the eight in a, in a pretty good long time, actually, since basically December. And obviously, if we start, to, if we can even break this line and start moving up, we'll get good confirmation here. And I mean, this thing, this weekly is saying, you know, you can actually run to 920, right? Where does 920 put us on the daily? Right here, man, a little bit higher. A little bit higher than the, than the 100. So like I said, this line should make it a nice clear path to here. Because again, this the only reason we have this line here is because it's that single green in this beautiful little string of red, right? So MSOS and Hexo, hey, if you stay to the end of this video, those are definitely some of the best ones in this whole sector review, actually. So um, yeah, it surprised me. I think you can tell that. So um, hey, if you disagree with anything, like I said, please let me know. Otherwise, sincerely appreciate your time, all right? Hope you're learning.